Hi, I'm Radmar, and today I'll be reading about Saints Cyril and Methodius from Stories of the Saints by Carrie Wallace with pictures by Nick Thornborough. My people need teachers, said Ratislav, the Prince of Moravia. Please send us someone who can tell us about Jesus. He was asking for help from Emperor Michael III, who ruled the eastern part of the Roman Empire after the fall of Rome. Ratislav's people really did need good teachers, but Ratislav had another aim in mind as well. In his day, Germany controlled much of Western Europe, and Ratislav was tired of Germans telling his country what to do. He thought that bringing missionaries from the east would help him gain more independence. So the emperor sent Methodius, who had been a governor of Thessalonica, and his little brother Cyril, a popular professor, to Moravia to teach. At the time, most churches conducted services only in Greek and Latin. Anyone who didn't speak those languages had trouble understanding what was going on. But in the East, where Cyril and Methodius came from, most churches held services in each people's own language. So when Cyril and Methodius got to Moravia, they started to translate the Bible and the church services into Slavonic, the language of the Moravian people. Translating books into Slavonic was tricky because there were no books in Slavonic yet. The Slavonic people didn't have a written language, so Cyril invented a whole new alphabet for them and called it Glagolitic. The people loved hearing about God in their own language, but the German priests weren't pleased. They were afraid that if people were able to worship in their own language, they'd be harder to control. It's against God's law to translate his word into strange languages, the German priests complained. So Cyril and Methodius had to go to Rome to defend themselves. But the Pope sided with them. He gave them permission to keep teaching in Slavonic, and he made some of their Slavonic students priests. It seemed like a great victory, but then Cyril fell deathly ill. I have only one wish, he told Methodius on his deathbed. Return to Moravia. Finish our work. So Methodius returned to Moravia. He spent the rest of his life translating the books of the church into Slavonic and became a bishop. Now, this upset the German bishops, who thought he was becoming much too powerful. They kidnapped him and locked him in a monastery for two and a half years. But after Moravia won their independence from Germany, the Moravian people set Methodius free. It seemed as if Methodius had finally won his long battle to help the people of Moravia worship God in their own language. But after he died, Moravia was invaded by Magyar tribes from Hungary. They banned Slavonic from the churches again. Cyril and Methodius' students were forced to flee the country, and it looked as though all the work the brothers had done and everything they had suffered had been for nothing. But when Cyril and Methodius' students fled Moravia, they took their books with them. They went all over Eastern Europe and into Russia. They took the alphabet that Cyril had invented everywhere they went. And after he died, they gave it a new name, Cyrillic. Today, it's an alphabet that's used by millions of people all over the part of the world where Cyril and Methodius once taught about God. Thank you for listening. 